Welcome back to Medicam Tube. Today, I'm going to guide you through the process of extracting botfly larvae from human skin. If you're new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more medical content. Botfly larvae, also known as Dermatobia hominis, are parasitic insects that infest the skin. The female botfly lays eggs on a host, often through a mosquito. When the eggs hatch, the larvae burrow into the skin, causing myiasis. Look out for a small, raised red bump with a central hole. You might feel pain, swelling, itching and even movement within the bump. Sometimes there's a clear or yellowish discharge from the hole. Extracting botfly larvae is delicate and should ideally be done by a medical professional. Here are some common methods. 1. Gather petroleum jelly, adhesive tape or bacon strips. Apply a thick layer of petroleum jelly or place a piece of raw bacon over the hole. This suffocates the larva, forcing it to emerge for air. Cover with tape, wait a few hours, then gently remove the tape and use tweezers to extract the larva. 1. Use sterile tweezers, a scalpel, antiseptic solution and bandages more time. Clean the area with antiseptic. Make a small incision around the hole to widen it. Carefully grasp and pull out the larva with sterile tweezers. Clean the area again and apply a bandage. 1. Administer evermectin orally or topically to kill the larvae. This method is often combined with other techniques. Ivermectin should be prescribed by a doctor. Clean the wound with antiseptic. Apply antibiotic ointment and cover with a sterile bandage. Monitor the area for signs of infection like increased redness, swelling or discharge. Follow up with a healthcare provider if needed. Avoid areas where botflies are common. Use insect repellent and wear protective clothing in endemic regions. If you suspect a botfly infestation, seek medical attention for proper diagnosis and treatment. Stay tuned with Medicam for more medical knowledge. Don't forget to leave a thoughtful comment below, Vito. Thanks for watching.